Caleb here from Pluto's Gate. So in this video, I want to talk about reality transurfing, the pros and cons of it, and maybe to help give you a different perspective or a way of looking at it. Because a lot of people can unfortunately use reality transurfing as a way to keep themselves stuck. So before I do that, if any of you are interested in coaching, uh, you can book down below in the description. Other than that, let's dive right into it. So I have this new setup because I think that having pictures or words on a whiteboard definitely can help a lot of people because I know personally I am a visualizal, visualizing learner. So here's the thing. Reality transurfing as a whole, how it's mostly understood is that if I change my thoughts or for some people in the Neville Goddard community, if I assume to be in the reality that I want to be, I'll shift over there. So the good news about reality transurfing and when you're teaching people about it, or some people call this parallel reality shifting, the good news about it is that it helps people understand that they can get what they want. So the really good pro or con about this is, I mean, sorry, I meant to say pro, the really good pro about this is that it really helps people kind of ease their logical mind on the when and the how, right? Oh, well, I don't have to worry about that because there's a reality where it already exists, and that's good. But I wanna talk about the cons real quick because I want you guys to remember that nothing in life is positive or negative. It is just what is your relationship to it? So you get it, pros, cons, so pros is positive, cons is negatives, right? So I just want you to understand the idea of reality transurfing or parallel realities is not negative or positive, just like any other manifestation aspect. Um, the way you go about manifesting or understand it, there's nothing that's better or worse than anything else. It's just what is your relationship to it? So the cons when it comes to reality transurfing or parallel reality shifting, however you wanna word it. I've seen many people, they use parallel realities as a way to reinforce or to embody that their manifestation is not here. So all day long, they may be logically thinking that they're focusing on the manifestation, right? SP loves me, I am a millionaire, I have the perfect body, but they keep noticing it's not here yet. So what happens when they keep noticing that it's not here yet is they keep embodying the lack of it or reinforcing the identity that I don't have basically. And so I want you guys to think about it this way, okay? When you think of reality transurfing, is your understanding of it coming from fear or from faith? So let's think about it this way. When we think about the cons of reality transurfing, a lot of people, they use it to reinforce that it's not here, embodying their very fear. They're embodying their very fear, the thing they don't want. So they can go on an affirmation rampage or a visualizing rampage, a scripting rampage, whatever they want. But when they get out of that rampage and keep noticing that it's not here, when am I gonna shift into the reality? Why hasn't the reality shown up yet? Why haven't I gotten there into that reality? They're embodying their very fear. So think about it this way. When your understanding of reality transurfing is sort of keeping you stuck, the reason it's keeping you stuck is because it's keeping you disconnected from your manifestation. In other words, manifesting is done from faith. So let's write that down real quick. It's done from faith, and let's write down fear, right? Faith versus fear. So in manifesting, it is based on faith. I make the assumption that it is done and faith is not based on any physical evidence. Fear needs physical evidence. I don't know why, but for some reason that R looks like a C, but whatever. 
So fear needs physical evidence. Faith doesn't need physical evidence. So what happens is when they are having a negative relationship to the idea of parallel realities or reality transurfing, they're needing evidence to feel better, to feel like they have it. So in other words, they keep embodying, it's not here yet. Where is it? It keeps them disconnected from the manifestation in the sense that they think the manifestation is outside of them over here. When manifesting is done in here, creation is finished. It's an internal process. So you make your decision that something is happening, your assumption as Goddard called it, and you stick with it. So along the way, that journey may include for some of you or over certain subjects that you have to clear some gunk within so that the manifestation can show up. So I just kind of wanted to give this quick um, understanding of reality transurfing with this new, this new setup. If reality transurfing helps you feel better, like, yes, this is possible. I can have this. Now I can understand why I'm not being selfish, right? Because everybody can get what they want. If that's the relationship you have with it, then great, keep it. I'm not saying that the idea of parallel realities or reality or transurfing is bad. I'm just saying, what is your relationship? Is it positive or is it negative? Because when it's negative, the idea of reality transurfing or parallel realities, it keeps this idea that the manifestation is separate from you, that I somehow have to figure out how to get to that reality over there. So this is how I think about reality transurfing. I want to give my opinion. Personally, I don't in my own process, but you don't have to take on or believe what I believe. This is just my own process. In my own process, I personally don't, um, apply parallel realities or shifting into a reality. How I think of manifesting in terms of reality transurfing, reality shifting, or parallel realities is I think of it as if I can shift internally whatever gunk I'm holding on to right now because the feeling is the secret. And so most people, when they have an identity that doesn't serve them, it's coupled with beliefs and emotions that have meanings behind them. When I can clear that gunk in here, then my outer reality can reflect it. So there's nothing that I have to do to try to figure out how to get over there because manifesting is done in here. So again, Nothing wrong with thinking about parallel realities or shifting to a reality. It's just what is your relationship to it? Because when you have a positive relationship with it, a relationship from faith, you're just like, here's some examples, like self-talking. I'm going to get there one day. I can feel it. I don't have to worry about this. I'll step into that reality. It's going to happen. It's already done. You see, but from fear, it's, it's not here yet. How am I going to get there? How am I going to shift to that reality? And often this is something else that I see with fear. A lot of people can actually use the idea of parallel realities or reality transurfing as a form of escapism. I don't know if any of you have seen this right now, but there's a really disturbing trend on TikTok where there's these kids thinking that they're going to shift into the Hogwarts reality with the Hogwarts characters because they're using the idea of parallel reality, reality transurfing or reality shifting, however you want to word it or think about it. They're using this idea as a form of escapism to get away from right here. And remember, the more desperate you are to get over there, the more you get to keep right here because reality is going to keep reflecting what you're embodying. What, so if you're embodying the desperation, it's just going to give you more of that. So just wanted to make this video to see if it helps anyone. Again, there's nothing wrong. And this video is not talking against reality, transurfing, parallel realities, uh, however you want to think about it, reality shifting, quantum leaping. There's different uh, terminologies people give it. It's just examine what is your relationship to it. So if you realize you have a negative relationship, if you keep using the idea of parallel realities to reinforce that it's not here, it's not working, or as a form of escapism, just be honest with yourself 
and start to shift it to a positive one. Shift your relationship to parallel realities, reality transurfing, to one of faith rather than fear. Because reality, the mirror of life, doesn't care which one that you choose to embody. It's just going to reflect which one that you embody. So if you're embodying it from faith rather than fear, this ultimately is going to serve you. So I hope this video helps. Um, just be honest with yourself. If you have a relationship with reality transurfing or parallel realities that isn't serving you, it's no big deal. Just be honest with yourself and just start to shift it. And it can really make a huge difference in your manifesting.